What's up, y'all? It's your girl Wendy. I'm back with another video. Um, yep, y'all have missed a lot. There's people out here playing Christmas music. Today is Wednesday, October 30th, and they playing Christmas music. True story. Can't make this up. And I don't know why I got these headphones in my ear. They're not connected to anything. <laughs> They were connected though. I was talking to my daddy. You know, I had my headphones in because it was loud around these here parts. Anyway, so this is Journey with Wendy. I am Wendy, my special helper. I'm here waiting to pick her up because she's at school. You know, stay in school is your best move. You got stuff all on my shirt. I'm just slip. Whatever. It's a real life channel. And yes, my steering wheel is in the picture on purpose. And so, um, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys. I know people are gonna think, oh, she's crazy. Maybe this maybe me being crazy will have them subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So I want to come and talk to you guys about um living with an autoimmune disease. And so what autoimmune is is that basically, you know, your body is fighting itself. As a matter of fact, hold that thought. We'll look it up. Let's see autoimmune okay an autoimmune disease is a condition arising from abnormal immune response to a normal body part and so there are at least 80 types of autoimmune diseases and nearly nearly any body part can be affected so psoriasis eczema um lupus uh and chronic idiopathic urticaria with angioedema uh, those are just a few um that i know of off just off the top of my head because uh, i know people that personally you know suffer with these autoimmune diseases and so it piqued my interest and so i just want to give you guys like um like what it's been like living with an autoimmune disease so chronic idiopathic urticaria hives um the um actual uh what's it what is what i'm looking for medical diagn diagnosis the medical diagnosis i mean the medical definition where is that okay now i'm trying to use webmd but they tripping so chronic idiopathic urticaria which has no discernible external cause comprises of a majority of cases of chronic urticaria. So basically chronic urticaria is when you have hives that last for longer than six weeks. And so um, when I was a kid, I re the first episode that I remember, I was in the third grade. Uh, no, fourth grade because we were out there in the portables. And so I was in Miss Curry's class. And so, um, we, um, like I had had a birthday party or something like that. And, uh, Jennifer Lewis, dang, I pulled my brother, but y'all can't find her no way. Cause I can't find her. And I was trained by the army to find her, find people. So I can't find her. So, um, locking my doors with my windows down so I could be safe. So Jennifer Lewis, she had come, she had come to my birthday party. And so they had bought me this gummy candy, right? So, you know, I eat the gummy candy or whatnot. And then that night, you know, I'm breaking out. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? And so um, I uh, ended up throwing the rest of the candy out because I thought, even though I didn't know anything about allergic reactions, I didn't know anything. So I threw it in the trash. Bad move, dude. Just wasting good candy. So then fast forward. So that was in the fourth grade. And so then we had some type of substitute and uh, the substitute was supposed to be a hard substitute or something like that. So I'm begging the hives to come back so I can go home. Didn't work. They didn't come. And so then um, keep going, you know, fast forward to uh, I think I was in the 10th grade, <clears throat> 10th grade at Pickering. And I was, uh, as a matter of fact, freshman, freshman year at pickering high school at pickering louisiana we had um we me my mom 
like my family so me my mom and my brother that it was the three of us we went with a uh, smitty name we, we went to uh the ritter and then going to the ritter what we did was uh we went and uh ate at um i think it was ryan's <clears throat> y'all you know if you still live in these places look okay i'm just telling you what i remember it may not have been ryan's okay it's some type of uh what's the thing called buffet it was a buffet and so we went there and so um i had got uh i had got some pineapple some kiwi and so we're sitting in the car and my mouth you know my mouth is tingly and stuff and i'm like eh, okay so my lips they're like they already big but they were like i can't even do it they were big like that and so you know for the longest i thought i was allergic to kiwi but i was like well i'm gonna still eat kiwi because it's good okay so um moving forward to my um so like i didn't have any more episodes that year but fast forward to sophomore year still at pickering and um my mom was in the field so i stayed with valerie and um her family uh while they were while my mom was in the field and i think my brother was with um david broom I think my brother was with David Broom. I don't know. My, me and my brother were not together. Um, so I went and stayed with Valerie now. And then my brother went to stay with whoever he stayed with. Um, and so what ended up happening was I was with Laren Littleton. Okay. I was with Laren and we went to um, the Burger King. I was with Laren Littleton and we went to the um, Burger King um, that was... Uh, in Leesville, it was like the only Burger King at the time because there was one on post and then it was one actually in Leesville. So we went there and so I ordered the number one, no onions, cut in half. Okay, so I ordered. So you know I'm eating it and stuff, and so we got we went to Laren's house. I don't know, I don't remember why we went to Laren's house, but Laren's house was like out the way, like she she stayed far. Okay, so we get there and whatnot, and so I'm just like um. I'm like, you know, it's cool, you know, but then like I started having, um, I had like, uh, like I was like on fire for lack of a better phrase. And so like, I'm starting to get these highs. They're coming from everywhere. Like they're on the bottom of my feet. They're in my head. And so it started getting like really, really bad. So, um, praise the Lord for Valerie's dad. He took me to, um, he took me to the ER. So we get to the ER and I don't have my ID card. Why? Why? Why don't you have your ID card? You're like 16. Why don't you have your ID card? So I didn't have my ID card. So they was trying to trip. Uh, as a matter of fact, they weren't trying to trip. They were tripping. And some somehow, some way, um, something happened and somebody got me. Um, I guess they either looked my mom up or, you know, Valerie's dad was not playing because um, the uh, allergic reaction was very, very severe. Um I don't remember like any, I don't remember any details other than like as quickly as they came on is as quickly as, um, it just started going downhill. So Valerie's dad was like, uh, you know, she needs some help. And so they ended up giving me a, um, an IV of Benadryl. And so I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. And so then again, that same year, um, the hive started, they came back. And so I'm just like, okay, and this time I'm eating a pear. I had a pear and then I had a piece of um, birthday cake from somebody, somebody birthday cake. Um, and so I'm just like, okay, this is not making any sense. You know what's going on. And so for the longest, I didn't have any issues, right? I had absolutely no issues, you know? And so just going on about my life, going on about my business. Okay. Until uh, 20 March of 2013. So March, 2013, um yeah your girl was all over the place no march 2014 yeah march 2014 um i was in texas uh visiting uh i was still there for my grandmother's uh burial and stuff like that um and so um i went back to kansas and so when i went back to kansas i want to say like in april that's when it all started and so, um, like I would, and I'm going to insert pictures, various pictures in here, you know, saying all these pictures are from 
no some pictures are from california and some pictures are from kansas um i don't know the time frame i could look at the date i mean look at the year and be like hey this is from but i'm not so <laughs> so with that um it was just one night um i had um they just came on and it was just like no rhyme or reason and so like they're all over my belly like they're all over my arms like i had um this tattoo right here i got this tattoo and um like i didn't realize it until much later but this whole thing was swollen It was swollen because there was a huge hive there. Like, yes, it covered the entire area. I'm going to try to find that picture. Because I thought that the lady, you know, I thought she might have applied too much pressure. But then I knew that that didn't make sense because it wasn't, like, it was my entire, you know, forearm. And so, um, that happened with that. And then not only that, but also, like, it was just, like, random times that they would come. And then it would just always happen to come on the weekend. And so I'm like, okay, what's happening? But one night, um, so I had been going to the emergency room. Like I would have, to, I, I went to the emergency room, like I went to the emergency room so much that the lady was like, we just saw her in here two days ago. And so one time when I went to the emergency room, like the, the doctor, like he was experimenting because like, we didn't know, like we didn't know. I didn't know. They didn't know. We didn't know what was happening. And so he actually stuck me with the child's EpiPen. And from that moment on, he was like, you know, I needed to carry the EpiPen because, um, you know, we didn't know what it was. Because I'm not one to like really drastically change my diet as far as like stuff that I eat. So I knew it wasn't that. And then I knew it wasn't any hair care products because um, like I use what I use and that's just it. So then, you know, moving on, moving forward. Um, the night that I'm about to speak about, this is what really got me. So... Um, I had already, so I had prednisone, which is a steroid. So I had that, um, I had, um, Benadryl that they had given me and, um, I had one other medication that they had given me. And so I was taking those or whatever. So whenever they would pop up, you know, I would know to take those. And so that night, um, I took them. And so, um, it's about, I want to say like two, one or two in the morning, um, and so, you know, I laid back down and as I laid back down, like I started, um, um, my breathing became very, very shallow. And then my breathing becoming shallow, um, like, uh, it was very, it, I don't know. I heard a voice that told me, and it was a very still, I'm about to get emotional, but I'm not going to do it. It was a still small voice that told me to, you know, get up and go to the ER. And so I was like, okay so i get up and i go and so when i get there um uh the lady was like oh we're she she was like we're rushing you back like right now uh, she needs to see she needs to get into a room now to be seen by a doctor and i didn't know what was going on and so um uh, when i because i went to the restroom for something and so when i looked in the mirror it looked like handprints on my neck and so like like handprints around here and then handprints on the back and so i'm like dang and so i'm like okay what's happening and so just as quickly as they came is as quickly as they left so i had no other signs or symptoms like after this major one like they were gone and so i'm like okay cool so then we get here to california and we're living um in the apartments we live in at And, um, it was me and my brother, like, cause the, we consolidated at first. And so, you know, I'm in my room, you know, on my air mattress, y'all should be, uh-uh, mm-mm, nope, not today. Roll your windows up, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this one down. <laughs> I was not finna play with no B, man. Oh, y'all stop. I can't. Mm -mm. Cause if y'all remember the last time I was sitting here, um, one of them Japanese uh, beetles uh, was trying to, you know, get in the car. Oh man. Anyway, so uh, we're here in California, or whatever. So you know, I'm having these like. It looks like little bites. It looks.
like you know little mosquito bites so i'm getting them a lot and so i'm like okay so i'm because normally when i get a mosquito bite i can put some alcohol on it and it'll you know stop the stop it so i'm putting the alcohol on it and it burns like more than usual and i'm like okay what's what's going on like what's happening and so i'm like see smell bugs i don't do bugs and so I'm like, okay, like what's happening? Like what's going on? You know what I'm saying? As to why, you know, cause I'm like, I'm thinking I'm getting bit up by spiders. Irrational. Okay. And I'm like, man, I'm the only one that's getting bit up so on and so forth. And so if something happened to where, um, oh yes, that's what happened. So just like how it was in Kansas, how it got really, really bad in Kansas, um, the same thing happened here in California. And so like one morning I woke up and they were all over everywhere. So it was to the point to where I was at this point, I'm very concerned. And um, as a matter of fact, I was no longer at my brother's house. I had moved out um, to my own apartment. Um, me and Joni call it the half home. Um, but don't despise humble beginnings. And so... Um, we went and um so i'm in the house or whatever and so like they're all over everywhere like they're all over my bed um they're in my head they're on my um they're on my arms they're on my legs and all, all sorts of kind of stuff and so it's to the point to where i'm like i need prayer so i called my pastor uh pastor jessica and i was like hey pastor jessica i was like i'm having you know i was like something is going on i don't know what it is you know and so um i was like can you pray for me and so uh, i'm not gonna do it and so my senior pastor um he was asking me questions he was like you know well he was he was asking me questions and so he was like you know had had i changed my hair products had i eaten anything different had i done any different lotions because um he was medical um previously prior to becoming a pasta a senior pasta he was um medical and so you know he's asking me the standard questions and so all my answers are no you know and so um i i was like i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go um to the uh va er and so uh my doctor lover she was um she was like yeah well her staff was like go ahead and come in and um you know we'll take a look at you so uh at that moment i went and um you know i and and the itching is intense you know what i'm saying like my pastor she prayed with me as i was on driving uh to the va and so i had to take johnny out of school because i didn't know how long i was gonna be at the va because y'all know how the va do if you don't know it's kind of like the the army hurry up and wait so that means you get there and then you wait for a long time so we're there i'm waiting and so when the doctor finally got me in, uh, she didn't know what it was either, but she gave me um, HCL. I forgot the name of it. I meant to write them names down. But she gave me some type of pill for itching or whatever. And then she gave me prednisone, the usual, and uh, Benadryl. And so she gave me all of this stuff or whatever. And um, she gave me a steroid cream. But I was, I was only supposed to use the steroid cream. Um like once a day or once a week or something like that and then um i she had given me an adult epipen because the the i had a so no that's yeah so she had i had an adult epipen because the other epipen that i had it was um from kansas it was expired so i'm like all right cool you know what i'm saying and uh then she gave me a referral to um uh the allergies so um the allergies took it took forever to get into the allergies to get to see the allergies so it wasn't until like summer like late spring early summer of 2016 where i finally found out like what was happening with me so as i was going to the va my pastor prayed and as i was leaving the va um my senior pastor apostle he prayed and so, you know, um, I was able to, you know, speak to him about that or whatnot. And then uh, I went to the allergist. And so Dr. Bala, never forget her. She has private practice, but her private practice is far because I would have stayed with her, you know, because she was the one that was able to give me answers for, for what's going on in my body that I don't know. And so um, she was like, um, so I was showing her pictures. Um, like I had pictures of my eye swollen. It's, it was always this eye too. 
um poke myself in the eye but it was always my eyes would swell my lips would swell um i didn't have any other throat um throat stuff happening after um that one incident in um kansas and so um so you know going on moving on moving forward um she was like well i believe that i know what you she was like i believe i know what you have and i believe that i can manage it and so i'm like yeah right you don't know anything lady i'm like i've had this for years and nobody's been able to help me with this nobody can tell me nothing you ain't gonna tell me nothing and you ain't gonna manage nothing okay really no that's really how it was in my head and so um i went through the gamut of testing um i didn't have to do skin testing because she already knew that it wasn't like um so what skin testing is is where they take certain allergens so they take like pollen they take uh ragweed dander pineapple peanuts tree nuts whatever and they poke your skin and then if you have a, you know, if you have a bump, if you, um, if you have nothing, then that means you're not allergic to it. But if you have like little bumps, then that, um, that means that you, you know, you have an allergic reaction to whatever it is that they stuck you with. So she was like, we don't have to do that. And she was like, you don't have to keep carry an EpiPen anymore. And I was like, not carry an EpiPen. I was like, lady, I ain't trying to die an untimely death. I was like, I got stuff to do. I got people to meet. You know what I'm saying? What? I got to, I, I wouldn't think about graduating at the time, but, you know, I would say I was, I got to graduate, but I didn't think I was going to graduate. Whatever, people. Yes, I know. I, I graduated, but that's not what we discussing. But, um, so she was saying all that. So I was like, okay, well, maybe there's some truth to what she's saying. Uh, cause she was very, very confident, um, extra confident in what she was saying so i was like okay well maybe there could be some truth to what she's saying so let me hear her out so um i had the whole so basically my testing was blood testing and so i don't know i can't tell you what they um uh tested me for um i didn't really care because i just didn't um i didn't really believe that an answer would have been given so she went in and she was like okay well um so I had to come back, I want to say like a month later. And so I went, I think I did the testing that same day. And then I came back a month later. So she was like, it's just as I uh, surmised. Um, I mean, it's to guess, uh, you know, it is, you know, you do have chronic, chronic idiopathic urticaria with angioedema. And so she was asking me, you know, um, when I have hives, how long do I have them? Um, and so I was like, uh, you know, I was like, they co as, as quickly as they come, as, as quickly as they go. Just basically the textbook definition of chronic idiopathic urticaria is what, you know, I was telling her about. And so then I started telling her about, you know, my eye and how it would swell and how my lips and they would swell. Um, sometimes my, my nose would swell as well. And so, um, so, so then she was like, okay, well you have, uh, what's also known as, um, angioedema. And so that's just, uh, swelling. And so I'm like, dang. I'm like, wow. So then um, she had given me mm, fexofenadine. Um, she had given me prednisone, but only like in emergency circumstances. She had given me Zyrtec and something that made me sleepy. Another histamine. So I had all these. Um, I was on a cocktail uh, and still am on a cocktail of medication for it um, because that's the only way that they can manage it, right? Manage it. So, you know, for a time, you know, I want to say for about, you know, six, no, for about two months. I'm going to say for about two months, it worked out, it worked out great. And then they came back. And when they came back, I was just like, the what and so it's summertime you know what i'm saying and so um the it would be like where my um where my pants would sit on my waist i would have it there severely um i would have it in my head on my neck it, it does it didn't matter i i had one on my hand you know what i'm saying um 
and uh i ended up having some like on my face like i would have some on my face and it would be bad because um people would like stop and stare and so they like you know they're looking at me like you know what's wrong with her and i'm like this is, <laughs> i'm like this is just this is my life you know and so um so then like after that happened like all of 2017 i was good right all of 2017 so i didn't have any severe reactions in 2017 but honey like i want to say august of 2018 because here i am thinking i'm healed you know so basically like after i went and saw the allergist um i was able to speak to my senior pastor about it and he was like uh basically you know he was like i ain't nothing to worry about and i was like oh my life is over i have eyes <laughs> But I mean, he was very supportive and, you know, he had given me some, you know, some wisdom, you know, on it. So I'm using the wisdom. I'm like, okay. He said, I'm like, at your word, at your word, at your word. Okay. And so, you know, all 2017, I was good. But August of 2018, yo, when they came back, they came back with a Ben Gents. Like they were on steroids and they were everywhere. Like nothing I did worked, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I already knew I was not going to go to the ER, you know? So I'm just like very uncomfortable. And so I'm taking, um, as a matter of fact, that's a lot. I did. I went to urgent care because when they came back, they were like, they were strong. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm like, bruh. <laughs> This is what we doing. And so um, I had ended up, um, I went to urgent care and they gave me another, um, they gave me another topical steroid. And so I wasn't supposed to use it that often. They gave me a topical steroid and they gave me something, some other type of cream to put on. And then um, they gave me the same anti-itching medicine that my doctor had given me, but a stronger dosage. Uh, Cause this time I actually went with all the medications that I had. They gave me prednisone and i want to say benadryl just the standard stuff that i always got it's just it's always the standard the standard stuff but it's just different names and so then she was like follow up with your primary care doctor so that's what i did and so um doctor at this time dr bala is gone because she went back to private practice and so i'm like dang so we didn't have an allergist and so um my doctor was just trying to treat it but it was not treatable and so i want to say for like three months straight they was like they were strong on your girl and i'm just like man like i'm having all kinds of crazy thoughts and i'm just like man you know do god love me yeah yes 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 i said it i did um and we were actually in a meeting you know when i was expressing that to my senior pastor because um i had missed i had missed um what did I miss? Oh yeah, uh, a text had went out, or well, not a text, but a notification had went out, and I didn't sub- subscribe. I didn't. Um, what's that thing called? Respond to the message until like super late, and so um, my my pastor was talking to me about it, and so then you know my senior pastor was like, "Well, ask her, you know this," and so you know then we you know come to find out, you know that's how I was feeling or whatever, and so um, you know it was it this that right there was like the height of it it was like cause i had never experienced them in that way and so i'm like man like uh-uh mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. oh is it in here it's in here mm, is it in here it ain't in here whatever and so you know at this point you know i'm just like man like you know what's going on so then my senior pastor you know he had um you know he was ministering to me you know about it so i'm like okay you know so i'm like at your word you know at your word and so i want to come and i want to talk to you guys um speak to you guys you know about what it's like you know living with an autoimmune disease and so my auto well what they have because i ain't even finna claim it i ain't, mm, i don't believe in naming it and claiming it but i ain't even finna i'm not finna claim it you know what i'm saying because it's not mine and so for me um initially how i looked at it i was like oh woe is me but you know after the ministering from my uh senior pastor 
you know, God, you know, he gave it to, or he allowed it, you know? Um, and so for me, you know, it's kind of like, I, I, I find it interesting now because, you know, my, basically what's happening with my, with the hives is that I keep wanting to say my, mm-mm. uh, so what's happening with the hives is that, uh, my body is attacking my body. So my body sees my skin as a foreign object. So that's why it can go wherever it wants to go and do whatever it wants to do. And so the swelling, I haven't really figured out the reason why for the swelling. Um, but I find it interesting that the body, which is supposed to which is supposed the skin, which is supposed to protect the body. The body sees as like, oh no, uh uh, we ain't even finna do this, cause it's whatever, cause. And so, like looking at it like that, I'm just like, man, because you know the skin is a protective barrier for the rest of the body. And so then my, you know, <clears throat> my immune system is like, we ain't even finna go out like that attack and so i'm like only a god who set up and designed a body to be such a you know to protect in such a way can have you know can allow the body to like have one you know aspect of the body like out of place to where it causes you know so on and so forth and so i'm like man that's interesting and so every time you know from here like after the ministering you know i'm like man i'm like that's bad you know because the body's not the the body is not designed to fight itself in the way that my body fights itself and so I'm like you know that's very interesting and so you know if you you know because I didn't I didn't have anybody to be like oh you know can I look you know can you tell me I didn't have anybody to do that um I, you know, the Lord just sent me, you know, Dr. Jamie and the Lord sent me Dr. Bala and, you know, they were able to give me answers that, you know, no other physician, um, could do. And so, and the Lord has done that a lot. He's placed, you know, people in our lives that, um, you know, can give us answers or or can give us wisdom, um, in, in places where, you know, we wouldn't normally have that. And so, you know, if you're, ha- if you have an autoimmune disease or your body, yeah, if you have an autoimmune disease or you have some parts or places in your body where, you know, it just does what it wants to do, you know, you're not alone because there are, it's 80 different autoimmune diseases. Some people show, some people don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm just one where my stuff shows. <laughs> my stuff show you know I think I had one oh I think it was like I think my lip was swollen and that's what it was my lip was swollen and so I'm in lush trying to get some stuff um trying to get some stuff from my senior pastor and like they look at me like what's wrong with her ain't nothing wrong with me like and I'll have them on my arms and stuff I don't have them on my arms right now but that's what I used to do that um it would be hot and I'll put long sleeves on, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, because I was embarrassed. And so then I finally got to the place like, I'm like, I ain't finna be hot. <sighs> I ain't finna be hot. And, you know, cause I'm trying to, you know, cause I'm embarrassed. I'm like this, I, I didn't do nothing to get this. You know what I'm saying? And my brother, he perfectly fine. He ain't got no autoimmune disease. He good. You know what I'm saying? He be like, hives, what? What's that? What, what's that? I don't, <laughs> so he good, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, yeah, it's, at first it was not, I was about to say it's amazing, but at first it was not amazing because I didn't understand, you know, I still don't understand, but I don't have to understand to, you know, to know that it's that only a God could, you know, create such a, such a thing. And so, you know, if you've had hives for longer than six weeks, um, and they just come on all of a sudden, you ain't change your diet and nothing like that. No hair products, you know, the standard stuff, you know, look into have your, you know, try to see an allergist and have them look into chronic idiopathic urticaria. And so with that, you know, my girl almost here. So I got to cut this video, but, uh, thank you for, you know, um, subscribing to my channel. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesday, and uh thank you for being part of team wendy you know what i mean and um with that i'm out